how to highlight a table's data based on the value of another cell. We're going to see here two different examples. The first one using currency, numbers, and the second one, we're going to see how to use texts and also how to highlight the entire row. And also, if you need how to overlap the conditional formattings, let's change here the criteria to vitamins. And I want to press enter. And as we can see, we can indeed overlap the conditional formatting using one on the top of another. So this is how we can use the conditional formatting in Excel to highlight the cells that we have within a table based on the values of another cell. And the main tool that we're going to use in this video is the conditional formatting. This is one of the best tools in Excel that can help us a lot on a daily basis to automate tasks and also to highlight the informations that we need. So I hope this video can help you out and let's go. In this first example, I need to highlight the cells based on their values. I have a sales report, but it doesn't matter. It could be another different data set because it's going to work in the same way. Uh, I have values, currency, dollars, but I could also use numbers, just the standard ones, percentage, fractions, or texts, dates. Everything is going to work. But let's move on here to the side. And let's say I want to highlight all the sales that are greater than five hundred dollars let's say that way all the cells that match with my criteria are going to be highlighted automatically for me first of all i need to select all those cells where i want to apply this conditional formatting and then i can go to the home tab to the right i'm gonna have conditional formatting and then a couple of different options i want to stick with the first one highlight sales rules because here i have something that can be very useful that is greater than this rule can help me to apply the criteria that I need, that is sales greater than something. Uh, instead of using this number that came inside this formula bar, I can select and then read it off the number. And as the value itself, the criteria, I can select the cell where I have my sales greater than, okay? So the cell where I want to input the value. And that way, whenever we change this value, uh, all the table is gonna automatically update. So Within this formula bar, I want to click directly on over the cell that I have the value, like this. And instead of using a red color, I want to use a green one, and then OK. Now all the cells that match with my criteria are being highlighted. And I can also change my criteria. Let's say, instead of using 500, I want to highlight everything that is greater than $200. And then I'm going to press Enter. And now we can see that everything is updated. Let's move on to the second criteria. Now doing the opposite, sales less than. Instead of using greater than something, we are using less than. So maybe I can apply here a uh, $100, $100. Enter. Okay. Let me select everything again where I want to apply the conditional formatting. Home tab to the right, conditional formatting, highlight sales rules. This time I want to use the second option, less than. And again, within the formula bar, I want to read it off everything and select the cell where I'm using the, the criteria. Another interesting thing that you can do is instead of selecting the format, the colors by the second, let's say the second option here, light red, yellow, green, and on and on, you can customize, custom format your own colors. Fill, and then let's say more colors. And here I want to use a reddish one, maybe like this. Okay, okay, and okay. Now all the cells that match with my criteria are being highlighted with this orange wish color. I don't know, but uh, whatever, it's, it's working. I want to highlight everything now that is less than $150 and then press enter. And here we got the final result. So this is how we can highlight some cells in Excel based on another cell that is off to the side, that is uh, apart from our main table. Now let's move on to the second example where I have a completely different situation because this time I want to highlight texts, sentences, words, letters, instead of highlighting numbers or dates or percentages or whatever. Um, I have again two tasks to complete here. The one is the first one is the category and the second one is the product. Let's say it depends on the category that I input. In the sales report, I want to highlight the categories. And depends on the product that I input in the cell, I want to highlight all the supplements that match with the, the product that I input in the, in the cell before. As you, we can see, again, it's a sales report, but at this time, I want to highlight the category 
using the individual cells. So just one single cell as we did before. However, when we move on to the last example, that is the product, I want to highlight not just one single cell, that is the, the supplement itself, but the entire row like this, because I think it's going gonna, it's gonna to look much better and much easier to see the data. So let's start with the category. Let's say I want to input here as the category vitamins. Okay, enter. Now everything that is equal to vitamins needs to be highlighted. So let's select again the entire range that I have like this. I can actually select, let's say, the entire column C. So click over the letter C like this, much easier. And then go to the home tab, conditional formatting, highlight those rows. This time I want you to stick with equal to, equal to, because everything that is equal to vitamin, the cell above, are going to be highlighted with a yellowish color. And then okay, as we can see, it's working. Vitamins is equal to vitamins, so this is why it's being highlighted. Now let's change it to proteins, enter. As we can see, everything is working. Now, the, another thing that I want to do here is the product. So let's say, in the product, let's see what I have here. Uh, maybe I can use vitamin, vitamin D, for example. Okay, so vitamin D needs to be highlighted, but not just one single cell, the cell where I have the supplement, but the entire row that corresponds to this specific supplement. So let me select everything now, and why should I select everything? Because as I want to apply the conditional formatting to all the columns, or in other words, to all the rows, I need to select all the rows where I need to apply the conditional formatting. So this is why I'm selecting everything, basically. So select everything until the ending of the spreadsheet, and then go to Home tab, Conditional Formatting. This time, we need to be mindful because every time you need to highlight an entire row in Excel, you can't, or actually, there isn't any rule that you can immediately choose. There isn't. So you need to create your own rule. So clicking New Rule. Now we can move on to the last option, use a formula to determine which cells to format. And within this formula bar right here, I want to input the equal sign and then select the first cell where I have the first supplement, this cell right here. And every time that this cell is equal to the product that I input to the right, so this entire row needs to be highlighted for me. So let's compare this cell right here with this product right here. And to compare things in Excel, I need to use a equal sign again. So equal sign the cell to the left. I want to check if it's equal to the cell to the right, vitamin D. And something, again, that we need to be very mindful is, as we can see, there's a couple of dollar signs before the letter and before the number. The second one before the number two, I need to read it off this dollar sign. But why is that? Because Let's say I want to apply this conditional formatting to the first row, but I also want to apply the conditional formatting to the second one, to the third one, to the fourth one, and on and on. So if you want to apply this conditional formatting to all the rows and not only for the second row, you need to read it off the dollar sign because the dollar sign picks a reference in Excel. And I want to apply to the cell B2, check first the cell B2, and then B3, B4, B5, B6, and on and on. So this is why I need to read it off the dollar sign. Uh, the column why am I letting the dollar sign before the letter B? Because the, the column B, the column B is my reference where I have the supplements. I can't move the column B to the right or to the left because I need to stick with the column B. So this is why I'm letting the dollar sign before the letter B to fix this reference. Format more colors. Let's use a pink one. Okay, okay, and okay. Now it's working as we can see. Let's change, instead of using vitamin D, I can use maybe, uh, or we can actually stick with vitamin D, but I want to change the category to show you something. Vitamins, and then I'm going to press enter. As we can see, now everything that is equal to the vitamins category are being highlighted, and also everything that is equal to vitamin D are being highlighted with the entire row being highlighted. However, when we have both category and supplements hitting over the same row, we have a problem, as we can see here. Vitamin is my criteria as the product. However, vitamins is also a criteria that I'm using in the category. 
And now we have a problem because instead of this cell right here, where I have the vitamins being highlighted with a yellow color, it's being highlighted with the same color that I, we use to the rose. So why is that? Because actually the last conditional formatting that we did is overlapping the previous one. And this is why we can't see the yellowish vitamin being highlighted here. So to change the positions, to put one on the top of another, we can go to in the home tab and conditional formatting, manage rules. In manage rules, we can see all the rules that we did. You need to click current selection and go to this worksheet. Now, all the two previous rules that we create are being displayed here for us. And as we can actually see, the yellowish one is underneath the pinkish one. So I need to click in whichever one. And let's say I stick with the, the pink. Now I'm going to move it down. So I need to click in this button right here. Okay. Or I can actually click in the yellow and move the yellow down. Or click in the yellow and move the yellow up. Doesn't matter. Here we can change the position. Put one in, on the top of another or vice versa. And now it's, it's, it's done. It's okay. Let me click in okay. And yeah, that's it. We can actually see the yellowish in the front of the pinkish conditional formatting. So this is how we can use conditional formatting in Excel with many different examples using a criteria that is in a cell that is apart from our main data set. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you have any questions or any suggestions to the next videos, let me know, comment down below and I see you tomorrow as Everyday has a new video. I see you there.